NFL Draft Class. It's Mike Evans versus Kelvin Benjamin. So let's go down to Tampa, Florida, where Jim and Phil are on the call. The Buccaneers are back deep, waiting for the kick return. And Graham Gano looks ready to get this one underway. This game is underway. Jenkins is going to start his return. And now we've got what you'd call the wily veteran at quarterback about to head onto the field for the first time today. Yeah, when you're a quarterback like this and, and you've had success, you go out in the field, you can't wait for the game to start because you veterans think only good things are going to happen to them so they're confident and ready to go the Buccaneers take it from the 28 could have been intercepted here's the offensive line and for this team they are the lifeblood of the offense when they're blocking well this team can do some serious damage second and ten Some heat. The Buccaneers decked out in a lot of pink, and we see pink throughout the building. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. It's the old Marino play, a fake spy, and looking to throw. One of the high octane, high intensity, high character players in the league. The former Walter Payton Award winner, Thomas Davis. Keep an eye on him today. You're right, Jim, and let me just say this. He can really run, and he just knows how to play the position. That's why he's so good. The Buccaneers will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. First down following the long play. Incomplete Tillman was in the vicinity. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, and the football falls incomplete. Let's go. Second down and 10. Johnson's there. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. momentum in their favor as that touchdown puts them in front here in the first. Oh, I love that word, momentum. The big bow. If big bow is on their side, that is a great thing to have. The Buccaneers preparing to get things going again on offense. They took it all the way on their previous possession, mostly getting it done through the air. Yeah, they got the leader, don't they? That quarterback, he takes control of the situation when he goes out on the field. And I know that defense, they had great respect for him. Now they fear him. That's a tough spot to be in on the defensive side. I always love it when all the experts say arm strength is overrated in the NFL. Well, tell me about that after that throw and catch. The Buccaneers snap it at the 36. The ball lands in the hands of Landry. A lot of people have to do a good job on play action passes for them to work. It is time. Watch the running back. Nice job selling the fake, and it helps the QB. First and goal from the one. Takes off for the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown. Late in the first. The Buccaneers will be trying to make it three successful drives in a row as they retake the field here on offense, partner. They got a great feeling from the offense so far. In other words, they're confident, they feel good, so you need to keep calling plays. It keeps the, the offensive players in a positive frame of mind. You do that, hey, I wouldn't be surprised to see him march down here and score again. The Panthers' defense now is going to go nickel. The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 30. Charles Johnson with the catch. Johnson's tackle right at the 42. And Phil, 
you look at this offense right now, they've got a quarterback who's moving the football through the air, and that's a big reason why they're leading this game. That's right. That's why they're leading the game. Boy, I'd hate to be a defensive back out there today. The wide receivers are good. The quarterback is hot. They've got awesome rhythm, and that's why they're playing so well. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Landry's got it. First down. Third catch today so far. Well, they call this route a lot of things. They call it a goal route, a nine route, or a fly route. And all of them mean the same thing. Run as fast as you can. Get behind the defense. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. It's going to be a long day for one team. Hard to believe it, isn't it? After a full week of work and all the preparation that goes into getting ready for a football game, and here you are early in the second, and you're losing like this, man, it's just unacceptable. The Buccaneers getting set for the extra point. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Danielle. The Buccaneers offense coming back onto the field after a touchdown drive the last time they had it and they certainly attacked that secondary and got there via the pass. Well Jim let me ask you this how dives across and he's in for the touchdown. This performance had The Buccaneers offensive unit back onto the field here. Last time they had the ball, partner, they took it to the house. Yeah, they were doing everything well, running and throwing the football, like you said. And I don't what do you do as a coordinator? You don't even know what to call because that play sheet, everything is working on it. Keep the momentum and keep this defense off balance. First half winding down as we return from the two-minute warning. Second and ten. intercepted that time good job that time by the defensive player he reads the quarterback gets in position down near his own end zone knocks that pass down third down and ten Landry's got another touchdown to increase the lead now we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth and we take it. The Buccaneers offense preparing to get this drive underway. Their last drive actually ended in a touchdown, Phil. We'll see if they still have it in them to issue a repeat performance. Well, what you saw in that last drive was everything just came together perfectly for them. The experience of the football team, the talent of the players, and the coaches helped them out. They got it done. Well, it's a big game by the offense, and that's what this league is about. We talk about so many things. Oh, play good defense, don't turn it over, but it's about big plays. You've got to take chances down the field. The quarterback was willing to do it that time, and he made it happen. Martin's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First and ten. Looking long, and it's incomplete. If you're going to miss a deep throw down the field, miss it long. That time the quarterback has the receiver open, but he overthrows it. Double tight end formation. The defense had that one covered. The Buccaneers are going to use one of the two timeouts they have remaining. Now looking at third down. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. Down the field. No stopping them now. That's a touchdown. Nearing the half, and this one is a laugher. Oh, well, yeah, one team's pretty happy about it, but how about on the losing end of it? How would you feel like uh, to be being blown out here right before halftime? It's a terrible feeling, and I don't know if you can regroup in the second half. 
Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Buccaneers are simply running the show in the first half. They've controlled the game and are way out in front. The Panthers have an uphill battle in front of them, but we'll try to claw back in this one. Welcome back. The Buccaneers come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking, and once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. From just inside the 30. Martins in the backfield, single back set. And a flag is down. Pass interference, defense. Automatic first down. The defense got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another Three. score. Three. Back to the air here on first down. Ball's thrown incomplete. Great coverage there by the defense. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Almost intercepted. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football. They're going to go with a pass. And if it is a pass, I would look for something quick. The Panthers with a nickel look here on defense. Third and goal from the nine. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Take the points. That's what I'm telling you, coach. Take the points. You didn't get it done on third and goal. Get three points and keep momentum on your side. It's out of the pocket. And it's swatted away. Well, it's fourth and long. You got a big lead. You decide to. The Buccaneers look to be almost certain to come away with points the last time they had the ball. But instead of attempting a field goal, they went for it on the fourth down and were unable to convert. Let's see what they do with this possession. Yeah, look, this isn't high school or college football where you get many, many possessions. In the pros, you don't get that many. When you get a chance to get points, you got to take advantage of it and take those points. Martin, solo, back set. Wright's got it on a pass that had some heat. That's his third catch of the day. This is an awesome job by the head coach, the offensive coordinator, and the offense. Just keep picking up those first downs. You got a big lead here in the second half. Keep that clock running. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. They're going back up top. And it's complete to Cameron. Good job by the offense here with a good lead in the second half, picking up that first down. And that's what you want to do. Take your time, look at the play clock, take it down as low as you can, and keep picking up those first downs. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. In his hands, complete touchdown. Tight ends are more valuable when you get close to the goal line because they can use their body and push off and get open that way to score touchdowns. Nice job that time by the tight end. The Buccaneer. The Buccaneers took care of business here today, Phil, and now you've got to think they just want to run the clock, avoid any injuries, and get to that locker room as quickly as possible to celebrate. Yeah, no question about it. They won the battle here today. They wore out this defense. The offense was absolutely tremendous, and you're right. Don't make a mistake now like a penalty, whatever. Let the clock run out so you can celebrate. Martins lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. The ball is out. 
tackles made. They've got the sizable lead. Bill, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. You didn't have to sweat too much over it. You feel good, and you just enjoy the next couple days. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.